greetings, the great one. Great one? What do you mean by great one? I am not any great one. My name is Ifenkili, the daughter of Nkendelin Okoye, a normal maiden of this great land. Why, why would you women refer to me as the great one? You are the great one. And you are the special one. We have come to give you this. Tickets. Money is the power that can bend all things. And the love of money is the root of all evil. But this is the money you need to unlock the hidden places. You are the great one, and this money will make you even greater. Tell me you're not ready yet. Ready for what? Ready to go back to school. And why are you sounding as if you don't know what I'm talking about? Listen, let me tell you. I am not going to wait for you. You're the common officer. Go and get your box. Let's leave. But I don't know what you're talking about. If you want to go back to school, you're free to go back. I'm not going. I'm not ready. I don't understand you. Are you saying you don't want to go back to finish your, your project? Do you want to have an... An extra year? What exactly do you not understand? How can I go back to school empty-handed? I told you that my father said that he doesn't have money to give to me to complete my projects. I've tried every possible means to get the money, but all to no avail. So what are you saying? No, I'm not going to kill myself. I'll just have to wait for a miracle to happen, or I wait for next year. You're serious. Why would I be joking with such a thing? Or do you know me as a joker? Please, Guinea, leave me. Do you mean to tell me you don't have any means of raising this money to finish your, your project? Wait, Guinea. Do you really think I'm enjoying this? I'm enjoying not having the money to go back to school to complete my project? Is that what you think? Do you think I am I'm happy after spending so many years in the university, I come out as a school dropout? No, do you really think that after everything I've been through, I won't be happy being a pharmacist at the end of the day? Is that what you think? So, there is no uncle, aunt, or anybody that can raise you that money? There is no aunt, uncle, anywhere. I have tried. There is nobody to help me. If there is, I wouldn't be saying this. I will prepare, we'll go back to school now. It has always been my dream. Please, this is not good. I'm sorry about that. So sorry. I wish I, I wish I have enough money so I can assist you. But don't worry, I will figure out something. Meanwhile, I need that poor cyber you. 
Thank you. So, are you, not, are you not going to see me off? Do I look like I'm in that mood? Miss Guinea, go. When you get to school, call me. If I click, you need to get yourself out of that mood. So, come and see me off. Oh, Guinea, can leave me. I if, said I'm not in that mood. If I click, stand up, come and see me off now. My uncle, dear, because you just want money now. Am I going to pay you to see me off? Please stand up, let's go. See, I'm not in a good mood. Mm -hmm. Let's be going. Hey, do you know I forgot I, I left someone outside that is meant to take me to the school? Ah, you didn't tell me you came with a taxi man. Your money is not too much, oh. Huh. It is well. He's not a taxi man. He's a friend who volunteered to help me. Oh, I'm not a taxi guy now. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. He can't blame his daughter, right? Yes, he is my father. He's inside. Hmm. The great one. Do they really know how great you are? Ah, uh, <laughs> let's go. I don't understand. Uh, who? She don't even know. Let me see your father briefly. Hmm? Uh, that pose. It's nice. I like the pose. I think... You left a wand of joy inside. A wand of joy? What does that mean? It helped us on their words. It's strange. Let me see. Thank you. What is this? I should be asking you what it is. How do I know? If I can, where did this money come from? Because. I remember I didn't put any money inside this bag when I gave it to you. Where did you get the money from? I am as surprised as you are. I don't know. It's not my money. But I don't know. I have no idea. Wait a minute. This was the exact purse in the dream where I kept the cowries those women gave to me. This is the purse. What are you saying? I had a dream last night. When I was walking down the road looking for how I would get the money to, to complete my project. Then I met two strange women on the road and they gave me cowries. In that dream, I, I came back, put the cowries inside this bag of yours. And I'm wondering, could it be those cowries that turned into real-time cash? If I could, can you just stop with the joke? <laughs> I don't even understand. I am not joking. I am telling you the truth. This was what happened last night. And I don't have any money on me. I mean, I couldn't have kept such an amount of money and I'm telling you I don't have money. Don't you understand? If you don't want to tell me, we'll give you the money. Fine. So now tell me, what are your reasons of not going back to school? Do you have any other reason? Hmm? You don't understand. I have a lot of things going on in my head right now. <laughs> what a surprise visit from a man who is an enigma to Olu Nibo. <laughs> but this visit shouldn't be a surprise one. I was told you came looking for me yesterday, so I had to come. Uh, you wouldn't have bothered. I would have still come back. Hmm. You are saying I should not come to your house? No, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that I am the one that's looking for a favor from you. I should be the one to come. Not you coming all the way. What do you Well, we are friends. That's what matters. <laughs> exactly. So tell me why you came looking for me. It was a surprise to me when I was told you came. Hmm. My daughter wants to go back to school, but I'm trying. 
We'll talk about that. Like, you're a traditional man. Let me not uh, bring the product. Let me get you cola first. <laughs> That's what you should do. Of course. Not that I'll be sick of you. Oh, tell me. Hey, what do you Wow. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh, just a Oh, with trend. The great woman. We meet again. It's a great honor for me to be in your presence. Papa, I was actually coming to meet you because I'm really confused about all these things. Uh, don't worry, just wait for me inside. I will meet you shortly. Okay, Papa. That is the great woman. The one that will unlock the hidden treasure. The one that will humble you and make you understand that our forefathers had a system that was so sacred. A system that was destroyed before we urgently embraced what we don't know. I know that you're a man that is weird in reasoning, you know, your orientation, your belief system and courage, everything. Look, my daughter is an educated woman, and she is aspiring to become a pharmacist. Please, leave her out from whatever you are thinking. Please, she's not wired for that. Biko. <laughs> no offense taken. But I'll tell you the truth. Your daughter, Ifenkli, is a great woman. A queen. But she will only prosper if she listens and obeys her inner mind. What are you talking about? What? My daughter have nothing to do with what you're saying. We are Christian in this family, and you know it. We don't believe in this, your own woman, and uh, yes, and why I not do it. We don't believe in it. Look at a great house you built in your prime. When you build this house, you built it without stress because you were in money. Suddenly, your finances crashed. You did not ask questions. All I heard is that you are a Christian. But before you became a Christian, you were originally Onyibo. Right or wrong? With all this thing you are saying, are you saying that my setback had anything to do with my faith or what? Here you are. Begging me for money for your daughter to return back to school. But the truth is, I am the one that's supposed to be begging you for money. Let me leave you to the gods. They have their way of doing their own things. I have to leave now. Uh, uh, bia, bia, bia. Uh, 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 should I still come next week for the money? Yes, you will come. If you discover that you still need to, but I have my doubts. There are spirits that have moved ahead of you. And when those spirits move, they move with blessings. Always something unimaginable. I don't know. Okay, uh, bye bye. ashamed of myself. I don't keep my promise. I'm very sorry. I'm assuring you by next week, I'll give you all the money you need to go back to school and do your project. Okay? Papa, I have the money already. Here is it. How? Who, who gave you this amount of money? 
Last night, I slept very sad and worried about the money for my project. And then I had a dream. In that dream, I met two strange women greeting me with so much respect. And they called me their queen. Who are those women? And why do you describe them as being strange? They were Asians, Papa. They gave me cowries. And I went back home immediately and dropped the cowries into the bag I borrowed from my friend. Then finally she came this afternoon to collect her bag. And then we discovered that the cowries in the dream has turned into real-time cash. You think we are talking about something very important, your project. Your five years in the university, your project. I, you're telling me something that sounds like a, a fairy tale or a tale by moonlight. How can cow return to money? Papa, it might be very difficult for you to understand, but that is the truth. That was what happened. That was what happened, Papa. And I'm, I'm wondering, is this possible? Or was it Mama that came to me in the dream, in disguise with those women's face, to give me the... The cowries that turned into money? Papa, is it possible? How can it be possible that cowries in the dream will turn to... It's, it's unbelievable. It's not possible. If it's unbelievable, then where did the money come from? Because I know I know that this money does not be... I don't even have some... I've never had, you know. Where did the money come from? Now, why are you not dressed? Since you know we'll be going back to school today. And you have the money now, so what else? No, I won't be going back to school today. Oh. Did I tell you I'll be going back to school today? No. I won't go today. We'll go tomorrow. Why? Okay. Fine. If you don't want to go back to school today, I will leave. I must be in school today. Listen, you have to talk to this person that brought you. He's your friend. Tell the person to wait. I haven't packed any of my things. Before I start packing, it will be late. I've not done a lot of things. Tomorrow we'll go together, okay? Talk to him. Why is Blessing calling me now? Answer now. Yes, hello Blessing. How are you? What? They did what? Where do they expect us to stay and finish our project? Where? Uh, I don't know. Oh well, I will. I will. I will I'll get back to you first. Okay. What happened? Can you imagine? This wicked people are renovating the the hostel, and they didn't even tell us on time. And they even issued a statement that final year students should, should, should look for another alternative on where to stay to write a project and defense. Who does that? Uh, Where do we stay? This settles it now. Have you not? I told you let's not go today. So you should be thankful to me, my sister. If you are going to school now, you sleep outside, you're looking for where to sleep. You better end up sleeping in the motor park. So it is good a thing you answered this call and she has confirmed to you that there is no accommodation. So let's just go inside. Talk to this, your friend. Tomorrow we'll go back to school. By then I must have packed every of my things. And another thing we have to do is we have to call Nora. She has always been of great help to us. Let's know how she can help us. We will go tomorrow. You forget. So you should be thankful to me now because if I did not hold you back like this, you get to school and you sleep outside. Okay, Eventually, go... I disagree with you. You've always wanted the reason for us not to inside. go back to school. Let me right? give you food. You know, I've not eaten. You don't have not eaten. No, no, no. <laughs> it's your fault. You don't want you us to go back to school today. Sorry. You don't want us to go back to school. Stop going inside. <laughs>
I said, where are you coming from by this time of the night? Well, I'm coming from school. We actually started the practical aspect today. And it was giving him plenty of issues. That's why I still to this time. Oh. Look at me. I'm sure you're aware I'm an illiterate. I didn't pass through school. Well, I already informed Mama of your late coming. Brother, why are you bringing my mind to this now? I'm telling you, I'm, I'm only really coming from school. If you, okay, if you like, you can call my friends. They will tell you. Will, will you shut your trap? You still have the mouth to talk? Mm. It has been the last time you come back to this house late. Brother, mm. if you feel I'm staying in the hostel, and uh, now somebody cannot do projects in peace again. I don't like this, though. I don't like this. If you want me to leave your house, just tell me so. I, I'll just go to the family house. Will you shut up? Things. Where are you going to? Okay, um, I'll be going back to school to finish up my project. That is why I went to get all these things. I'll be needing them in school. You're going back to school? Mm. I thought father said there's no money. Yes, so that was what he told me. But as God may have it, miracle happened. Mm. Whenever it's your turn, miracle will happen. But when it's my own turn, miracle will not happen. Now you're going back to school. Papa said there's no money in this house. It's not fair. What if I do in this house? It's not fair. It's God that will judge all of you in this house. It's God that will judge all of you. No problem. No problem. Okay. It's only when it's you that miracle will happen. When it's only master, nothing will happen. There's no problem. No problem. Ozzy, what is wrong with this girl? Ozzy. If this eventually happens, we will shut down that village. I swear down. Ah. <laughs> Can you imagine the Igwe called me two months ago and ask if I could um, come with my friends to sponsor the youths of our village? Can you imagine that? Telling me that it will be appreciated. <laughs> youths of our village. We should come contribute help. Same youth of our village that called us ritualists. Imagine, imagine that. Oh, come on. I don't think I'll be part of that contribution. I mean, when I built my first house in the village, bought my Range Rover Sport, what didn't they say? Hmm? What didn't they call me? Ritualists? And even when I built that house and even built them a church. And this happened coincidentally after my mom died. And then they said you killed your and mom. And they said I killed my I mom. Remember. Imagine. And you know how the village room goes by. This messed up my head so bad. I can only imagine. And I regretted everything I did for them in that village. And now they want me to use that same money to help them. Da! It's not going to happen. I would never do that. I think the youths of our village to, to just go ahead, hustle, and stop waiting for ritualists to support them. Exactly. Point taken. Exactly. And I, I don't blame the people, actually. You know? Um... I think because of the fact that we've been giving them lots and lots of money mm -hmm. for upkeeps. Mm -hmm. And how they think we don't know what to do with our money. Mm -hmm. hmm? <laughs> it is obvious that you guys don't want to help. So stop making excuses. I beg your pardon. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, What's she saying? Come and hold your baby. Let her go and make money and share to all the old villagers if you want to. We'll have this discussion another time when she had made the money and shared it. Maybe we'll now have this discussion and glorify what she has done. Please, we don't want to hear that. Alex, 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 come on. Why are you exercising your anger on the girl, man? Come on. If we have anything to do, let's channel it to our village people. And that reminds me. Our village people should just leave us to enjoy our ill-gotten money. Yes. Oh. Yes. Hey. You don't talk like that. There's nothing wrong helping the youth of your village. Mm. So far, you have the means, right? Mm. Yeah. Oh. Can we change the talk? No, I, do, I, I think it's time for us to bounce. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. oh. um, take your leave and 
Go see what you can do with our lives. Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. yeah. Brother, your phone has been ringing upstairs. And why didn't you bring it? Have I done bad now? I'll come to tell you. Maybe you should go and check it. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, I have to take that call probably business. Okay, okay bro. See you later. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh. Make sure you try to help your village people, it's very important. Exactly. <laughs> yes, it is very, very important. What the hell are you still doing with her? I thought you said you had nothing to do with her again. <sighs> Baby, you have to calm down. Okay? I'm working on sending her away from here. Well, it doesn't look like you're working on it. <sighs> I want her gone too. But she's making things difficult for me. Hmm, I love you. You know she can eat your cake and have it, right? I hope you know that. I'm coming! I'll follow you to the school gate. Just the juncture. Yes, you don't need to go inside. Yes. What did you say? Your, your sister.